Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I'm doing a little bit different vantage point of filming. I'm not going to uh, be in the shot. Um, I had some a skin cancer removed and um, have bandages and so I'm just going to tr do uh, kind of the facing away uh, type of um, filming. Um, I'm outside, uh, was the best lighting that I could find today, and hopefully it'll stay quiet. So you're on my back deck, um, maybe you'll hear a little bit of birds in the background here and there, um, and hopefully won't get interrupted. Um, so today I'm going to talk about a uh, item that I found on um, a third-party site, um, I think it was eBay, and I don't remember... Um, how I found it. I was scrolling for something else. I don't know what search term I had put in, uh, but this came up and I immediately recognized the pattern as the one that had been in the custom area um, of the Vera Bradley site um, in the spring. Um, actually, I don't know when it was pulled down. I do know that this pattern, um, a uh, similar pattern, I'm not sure it's exactly the same one, but I'll, it's an item inside the bag that I'll show you in a minute, but um, this uh, this is Cloudvine Multi. Multi? Why do I have a hard time saying that? Cloudvine Multi. Um, and it was a custom pattern, um, and I guess this is somebody's custom bag that they decided to sell. Um, it was a little bit pricey, but I knew that this pattern was not available anymore, and also that you know, hopefully it could come back at some point, but right now there is no announcement about that. The, the patterns in the custom area are supposed to change on the 19th, so possibly we could get um, this pattern back. Let's, fingers crossed, huh? Anyway, so I grabbed it right away. Um, I think I even offered a little bit less than what they were asking, and they took it. So um, I was very happy to get this. Um, felt like I had found a little diamond um, on... Uh, and a Vera Bradley diamond. <laughs> anyway, so um, just to like kind of look at the pattern up close before we actually look at what's inside the bag and the pattern inside the bag. Um, this is a variation of Cloudvine, um, which um, I was looking, I don't have any um, accessories in Cloudvine to show you, just um, one large bag. So apparently I did not get much cloud vine, which I'd like to fix. Um, but anyway, so there's a lot of like, uh, really cute, small flowers. There's colors, uh, pink and orange. Um, I think that the background, um, is a very, very light pink, maybe even on a lavender side. Um, at least that's the way it looks to me. Um, I mean, you've got, you know, uh, yellows and oranges going on in some of the flowers, um, which I really, really love. I love, I just love this, and I'm, a lot of people do, so hopefully it will come back. Um, yeah, so just sort of some traditional sort of flowers that uh, you see a lot on, uh, so, flower styles that you see a lot on uh, Vera's bags. This one looks familiar, almost like a foxwood type of flower. Um, but yeah, I just think it's really gorgeous. Um, the bag, this is a small backpack, um, has two, uh, a side pocket on each side. And, uh, they used black, I believe this is black trim. It could be denim. It's hard to tell. Um, but I believe it's black trim that was used. And then, so it has the padded straps on the back, um, and a pocket, um, where I have my... I just put my old cell phone. I'm actually filming on my new cell phone. So my old cell phone's in there so you could just kind of see. Um, yeah. So anyway, let's get into what's inside the bag. Um, so the, the custom small backpacks come with uh, pleather uh, pulls instead of uh, ribbon. Um, and so this uh, has, um, and as you can see, the interior is... Uh, is Foxwood Navy, which is um, a pattern that is still available until the 19th, if you're interested in it. Um, and so inside here, it has a front, uh, so it's a back and kind of a front pocket. So in the back pocket, I have um, my mask in Floating Garden. Um, and then I have my, uh, I'm using a zip ID for a wallet. 
and this is um, the VBU uh, Petite Garden, which is really pretty. It's one of my favorite. And I think I got this, um, it came with a small crossbody that I had found um, over the winter. So you can see a little snail here. A petite Garden has snails. Yeah, so that's the wallet that I'm using. Um, it has uh, a separator and then this sort of chambray interior. Um, so that's the uh, front pocket. And then let's get into the bag. So it's got the two pulls that go all the way down. Um, I'm not, I don't have anything in my side pockets. Well, there's a mint in here, I guess. And then I have um, a pen, a uh, Vera Bradley pen. This is Cloud Vine, actually. This is the um, Cloud Vine pattern. And like I said, I don't have any uh, accessories in this. So except for this, um, I guess I need to look for some of those. So that's the pen that I was carrying. So here's the interior of the bag. Um, and it's uh, the interior pattern, the interior material that was chosen uh, by this person was uh, foxwood blue. So I really like it. I checked the whole bag and there's no foxes in here. So it did not have foxes, although I see a chipmunk right here. Um, actually, there's very few critters on this, on this, in the inside that I have seen. I don't think there's any in here. Anyway, so let's get into what's in the bag. So um, to begin with, I have um, a tissue, um, and the the uh, bag has two interior, or two front uh, slip pockets. And so I had tissue in one side, and then in this side I have Mod Paisley from the um, factory outlet, um, and this is carrying just some hair ties and uh, rubber band type ties for my hair um, and then uh, in the main well in the back here is um, one zipper in the back and this is the pull isn't anything special just a metal pull um, no uh, foxes in here I do have my uh, foxwood uh, short lanyard um, and then uh, I guess I have double <laughs> this is a uh, Charmant Meadow, I forgot that that was on there. So this is my keys. So that's what was in the in the back zip. Um, and then in the main uh, part, I have um, an eyeglass case. Um, this is Hummingbird Park. And um, I don't know if I've ever shown this one before. I haven't ever done a Hummingbird Park haul. So um, I really like these big flowers and a lot of the Hummingbird Park items that I got um, the pattern placement to get the bird uh, did not allow me to get many of these flowers, so it was very nice to find this one, which had two of the bigger flowers on it, and then here's um, the hummingbird. So yeah, I have my sunglasses in here, um, and then a reading pair of glasses can go. So this is the soft uh, eyeglass, double eyeglass uh, holder from the Signature line. Um, the next item is my cosmetic, and this is... Um, Dragon fruit floral. Sorry, this is upside down. Dragon fruit floral, and uh, I really like. Um, I chose, tried to find one with a lot of the orange and pink because I really like that together um, on this pattern. Um, so I tried to find that, and this is like a nice big flower here. So this is my. Um, I think this is the small cosmetic. I don't think this is the mini. I think this is considered the small. Um, so there's more of the pink and orange in there, and the Vera Bradley tag. Uh, yeah, so this is my, what I'm carrying all my sort of small cosmetics in. Um, the inside has that uh, PVC plastic lining. Sorry, I hope I'm still in shot here. Um, yeah, so that's the small cosmetic that I'm using. And um, let's see what else is in here. Uh, oh, okay. This is the um, this is actually the uh, similar pattern that came out, um, and this was called Sugarberry, um, and it's still you know I do a search and it's called Sugarberry. So it's slight. I think it's the same. It looks the same to me. I think the background might be slightly pinker uh, than this one. 
um, and then the trim is a different color. But anyway, this is um, this was in the Venus shaving kit that was available at Target over the holidays um, last year. Um, so the got I'm carrying uh, some extra masks in here. So yeah, so this is called Sugarberry. At least that's what it's showing up when you do a search um, on third-party sites. Um, the next item that I have in here is um, my, uh, this is, um, it's going to, boysenberry? I think this is boysenberry. And I think this is kind of a little, it's almost like a little wristlet tech case maybe, but I've got um, some eye drops and a little pill case that I'm carrying some ibuprofen around in. So I really like the interior of boysenberry. I'm pretty sure that's the powder name. Anyway, so that's a little, little wristlet that I had found third party last year. Um, okay, and the last item was a freebie uh, that came in this bag. Um, they included it, uh, and I didn't know they were going to include it, so it was it was uh, kind of a nice surprise. Um, I don't actually know what the pattern is called. I believe this is from Staples. Um, they did a exclusive um, Foxwood. I think this is Foxwood, or maybe it's... Um, it almost looks like Bloomberry a little bit, so maybe it was a Bloomberry, um, but anyway, it kind of goes with this, but to be honest, I don't know the, the uh, I do, I do know that it's from Staples. Um, anyway, so this is a zipper pouch. This is kind of the older metal zipper, and I'm just carrying around receipts and extra, like, um, reward cards. It's got the Vera Bradley printed on there instead of a, like a pleather label. It's actually printed right on. Yeah, so that was a nice surprise to have that come with the bag. Um, so if anybody knows uh, what this pattern is, please leave it in the comments. Um, so that's it. That's You can see the full interior of the backpack there. So I just was thrilled when I found it, snapped it right up, and moved right into it. So, um, yeah, this is the current bag that I'm in, and uh, hopefully um, this way of filming worked out well. I'll be back. Um, I've got a couple of um, haul videos that I want to do, uh, so hopefully either my, ha my uh, face heals up quickly or um, we're going to do kind of the same style of video. So have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.